ECU Athletics presents The Joe Dooley Show. The Joe Dooley Show is brought to you by Vidant Health, official health system of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show this week. We appreciate you tuning in. Big show planned for you. We have the AAC season starting this week, and we'll have highlights from a couple of games that the Pirates play. They opened the conference season at SMU in Dallas and Moody Coliseum. We'll have highlights from that one. Also highlights from the home opener with the Cincinnati Bearcats at Williams Arena Minji's Coliseum on Saturday afternoon. Our Pirate player profile will be the senior point guard for the Pirates. Isaac Fleming will be in the spotlight this week with our Brian Bailey. Also coming up, it will be our coach's corner with the associate head coach of the Pirates, Rafael Chilius. And then the Pirates head out on the road next week. It's a two-game, five-day road trip as the Pirates will take on Penny Hardaway's Memphis Tigers and then down to Orlando to take on the UCF Knights. They're picked to win the conference this year. Hang in there with us. Coach Dooley joins me right after this. Yeah! When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dogs. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you're talking burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. With more than 90 online programs, 40 of them unique to ECU, more students than ever before are making East Carolina University their online destination. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Today's highlights are brought to you by these local nationwide agents. Joe joins us now and welcome back to the show for the Pirates. They started the AAC season this week and Joe, some of the storied college basketball programs in America are in this conference, as you know, UConn, Temple, Cincinnati, Memphis. But it's one of the reasons you came here, isn't it? Well, I think you've got a, a great league. We talk about it all the time. It is a big boy league and, and you've got a, a multiple bid league. You've got teams that are going to be competing in the national level and uh, we've got to get our program up and running that way. 
No doubt about that. And some really good teams at the top of uh, this conference this year. Cincinnati's really good, as we all know. And uh, UCF's actually picked to win the league this year. Uh, UCF is very experienced. They've got a lot of upperclassmen. Same thing with Cincinnati. And Mick's done a great job. Eight straight NCAA tournaments. I, I think uh, Central Florida's poised to get back to the tournament. Uh, Houston's terrific. I mean, Houston's, you know, in the top 20, obviously 18, 17 or 18 going into this week. So uh, I think there's a lot of parity, uh, you know, at the top. Uh, the teams at the bottom of the league like ourselves need to pick up our games. And the Pirates took on SMU to open the conference season. Uh, the SMU Mustangs came in at 8-4. and four. They've had a terrific run here the last six or seven years, and this was a good ball club, wasn't it? They are. Coach Brown set a great foundation, and, and uh, Tim has done a really good job. And, uh, they've got good players. They've done a nice job getting some of the local high school players and also some transfers. McMurray and Witt and those guys are really good transfer players. And Isaiah Mike is a, is a really good player, a sophomore from transfer from Duquesne. So they've done it a, a lot of different ways. It starts with Jamal McMurray. He can really shoot it, can he? Oh, he can score in bunches. And uh, I think one of the things that their perimeter guys, all three of them, can do is they can make tough shots. They can get to a point on the floor, jump up, and, and just uh, make tough shots. Let's go out to Moody Coliseum now and pick up the highlights as the Pirates take on the Mustangs. A Wednesday night at Moody Coliseum in Dallas, the Pirates and the Mustangs, and we start the game here. Joe, your ball club gets off to a real nice start in this one, and Justice Obasahan gets a basket here. Great job getting on the offensive backboard, and uh, I thought Justice uh, really gave us some really good minutes. Really did. Then Sean Williams gets a basket here. It's a 6-6 ball game. Isaac Fleming also gets a hoop here, Coach. He penetrates to the paint, and it's an 8-8 score. Well, we, we got good tempo, and I thought the guys had good energy, and we, we had a nice start to, to begin the game. No doubt about that. Sean Williams gets a basket here. Pirates go up 11 to 10. Pirates extend that lead, go up 14 to 10. K.J. Davis is back after a foot injury, and he makes a three. K.J. gave us some good minutes. Obviously, he can stretch the defense with, with his ability to shoot, and it's good to have him back out there. And then they add another basket or two late, so it's 35-25 at halftime, SMU. Leading by 10 points. We pick up action now to start the second half. And then McMurray comes out here, Joe, and boy, he knocks down two bombs. Yeah, we, we terrible job in transition. We also give him a good look and, uh, you know, very bad, very poor start to the second half. Yeah, 38 25. Then it goes to 41 25 on the second three. And then McMurray would knock down another three. And it's a 48 26 ball game. And then the Pirates are in uh, catch up mode here. And KJ Davis uh, knocks down another three, and he can do that for your ball club. Well, we, we put ourselves in harm's way. We missed some, some laps at the rim. We missed some free throws, and, and they got on an offensive roll that we didn't have an answer for. Yeah, one of the positives uh, Jaden Gardner had 16 points and seven rebounds. He adds a basket here late, and the Pirates lose by the final of 82 to 54. Oh, wonder how it works. Blindfold is for me. Here goes nothing. You're going to break it. Do we lose? Here's to the friends you can always count on. When it's too cold for camping, we go camping. When it's too hot to work, we work. Too wet to keep going? Nah. This is the Gator XUV835 with game-changing heat and air and three wide seating. It's never too anything for anything. Nothing runs like a deer. Reliable equipment and dependable service. That's quality. Stop by a location near you or request a quote at qualityequip.com. Planet Fitness is a proud sponsor of the ECU Pirates, and we're celebrating with zero enrollment fees. You love purple, we love purple. You take no quarter, we take no quarter. With benefits like a 24-7 judgment-free zone packed with tons of equipment, free unlimited fitness training, and the friendliest crew on deck. So, are you ready, Pirate fans? Wear your pirate colors to Planet Fitness in Greenville, Wilson, or Rocky Mount for a free Planet Fitness Day Pass. Plus, no enrollment fee when you join. And go Pirates! There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? There's something for everyone at Golden Corral, but nothing beats their signature USDA sirloin. Juicy, hand-carved, and grilled just how you like. The signature sirloin, every night at Golden Corral.
Welcome back to the show. The Cincinnati Bearcats in Greenville on a Saturday afternoon for the home opener in the AAC season. It starts with Jerron Cumberland. He's one of the best players in this league. A 6'5 guy can do a lot of good things. Well, versatility. I think that all their guys, I mean, uh, they're big, they're strong, they're athletic. Cumberland is a, is a matchup nightmare. He can be a, you know, he's a two, three, four, whatever you want to play him at. Williams can make tough shots. Obviously, they've got a lot of front line depth and they just try to mug you on the backboard. And Justin Jennifer, 56 assists, eight turnovers, Joe. That's just off the charts. Great assist turnover ratio. And that's, you know, part of it is because they don't play fast. But when they do play fast, he, he makes great decisions. And they are terrific in transition, even though they don't play in transition a lot. Let's go out to Williams Arena. Minji's Coliseum now. Pick up the highlights as the Pirates take on the Bearcats. Big crowd on hand on a Saturday afternoon, and Joe, we pick up the highlights, and Cincinnati gets off to a great start here. They jump off to a 9 to nothing lead. Jaron Cumberland, who is a first-team All-AAC player, gets a layup here. He's a tough matchup, isn't he? Yeah, we didn't get off to a great start and, and was a little bit concerning. I almost tore my rotator cuff calling a timeout quickly in the, in the first half. And then the Pirates bring K.J. Davis in off the bench, and he starts nailing down shots, Joe, and it really helped bring you back. Well, great pull up, and then, you know, he stretched the defense. I thought K.J. was very aggressive, and during the course of the game, I thought his defense was great. K.J. hit a couple of shots, including a three-pointer, made it a 9-5 to five ball game, and then Seth Lede gets one to go here. Here. And Joe, then you're back in the ball game. Seven minutes in, it's 13 to seven. Well, yeah, we, we got away. We just said let's uh, chip away a little bit. And obviously, Cincinnati is a very good team, so we had a they sort of hit us in the head right away, and we had a battle back. KJ Davis gets another three pointer here for the Pirates, and then Tyler Foster, your freshman from Baltimore, knocks down a three here, and then all of a sudden it's a 13-13 game. It was good to see the guys respond. I mean, we, we need to when you get a when they made a run like they did, we need to be able to handle a run and, and get back in the game. Isaac Fleming has been struggling shooting the three ball this year, coach, but he nails one here to put you in, in front. Isaac gave us really good minutes, and I thought his floor game for the most part was, was very good. Did a nice job of getting in the paint and pivoting and, and not getting frazzled. Tyler Foster gets another layup here for the Pirates. ECU goes up 7, 28, 21. And then Seth Lede gets a tip in here. He's so good as an offensive rebounder. He really does a real good job of keeping the ball alive on the backboard. And, you know, we joke with him. Quit, if he would quit tipping him, he'd have more rebounds. He goes after the ball so many times with one hand that if he went after two, he'd probably have five or six more offensive rebounds. K.J. Davis gets a layup to go here, and the Pirates go up by 11. And then Nasir Brooks gets a layup here for Cincinnati. It's 36-27. Pirates lead by nine at halftime. Let's pick up the action now in the second half. And Cumberland comes out and nails a jumper, and they go on a quick 6-0 run here. They're, they're too good to just put away, and, and they're they're so offensively efficient, Cumberland, and it's also hard to simulate their length and athleticism. And then Coach uh, Sean Williams gets hot. Uh, he knocks down a couple of threes here back to back. He did a great job. I mean, the one off the ball screen was a great shot, and uh, you know when he gets he gets an inch, it's 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 a good chance of going in. Cincinnati would not go away. Cumberland comes back and he knocks down a three pointer, and then KJ Davis was still. Another three-pointer. Boy, K.J. played well. He knocked down three threes. Pirates go up by two, 56-54 with 7.54 to go. And then Justice Obasohan comes into the ball game. He gets a layup. Great pass, and uh, Justice gave us really good minutes and provides some stability and, and, and was really good for us tonight. Pirates were up eight points with four minutes to go, but you know Cincinnati is going to come back here, and Cumberland gets a three-pointer to go here, Joe. Cuts it to a three-point game with three minutes to go. Yeah, we he, he's too good, and we, we gave him a couple easy looks, and, and he did a good job of working without the ball, and we lost him. With 20 seconds to go, Gardner plays so hard. He has such a great motor, and, and Coach, he gets a shot to go here, a tip in with 20 seconds to go to go up by six. Boy, this was big. That was huge, just to create some separation. It makes it a couple possession game. And then Jennifer comes back, the point guard for Cincinnati, and he nails a three, so all of a sudden it's a three-point game again. Pirates up three with 17 seconds to go. And then the Pirates turn the ball over, so the door is still cracked here for you see we've definitely got to make sure we close out the game the right way we had a couple turnovers that, that uh, were untimely for us so Joe talk about your defense here in this last possession for the Bearcats well we were fortunate I thought when Cumberland caught the ball he was going to shoot a three and they drove it and we were able to wall up and uh, uh, pick up the loose ball you can paint this one purple the Pirates win it 73 to 71 hey, hey, hey. Dustin, 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 Dustin. Yeah! Now listen, but you don't turn it over. 
You don't turn it over. You don't turn. You made some big timely shots and some unbelievable defensive efforts. Yeah. And we had some boneheaded plays, but that happens. Let's get, you know, listen, don't run around like you won a national championship. <laughs> it's a good win. So now we got to get better, start Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because we're on the road at Memphis and at Central Florida. That's right. To get ready. So, hey, listen, and the way to win on the road is to not turn it over, not do stupid stuff, and to play with a lot of poise. They understand that. It's a hell of a win, guys. Good job. Thank you. Are you tired of picking up those missing shingles? It may be time for a new roof. A metal roof from Carolina Windows and Doors. Iconar System guarantees our roof to outlast the competition. Rest assured your roof will stand alone in durability and performance. Cool Roof Technology is incorporated with every Iconar metal roofing system. This is a reflective coating that not only keeps your finish from fading or deteriorating, it also helps reduce heating and cooling costs. This Cool Roof technology is so different that it's earned the government's Energy Star certification in every color, even black. And it's more than 10 times more fade resistance than other metal roofs, allowing the full impact of color for years to come. We have installation crew members that have been with Carolina Windows and Doors for over 30 years. We believe this plays a vital role in delivering the most positive customer satisfaction possible, as well as the highest quality of materials. Call Carolina Windows and Doors today at 1-800-545-7172 or visit us online at cwdnc.com. This is Billy. Billy Beer, America's light craft beer. Yeah, you heard that right. Light, craft, and insanely good. It's got that refreshing, crisp taste, and it's got fewer calories than all the big guys. Yeah, those big guys. So that means less of this and more of this. So whether you're here, 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 or here, take Billy with you. Billy Beer. Love it, crush it. This is Crushable Craft. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it, or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Welcome back to the show. Our Pirate player profile this week is Isaac Fleming. He is the senior point guard for the Pirates. And Isaac's a big key to this ball club, isn't he, Joe? Yeah, he's, he's, he's had to adjust some things. And, and I think what he's tried to do is he's really tried to facilitate uh, I think he's been our best defender by far. I, you know, I've been happy with the way he's responded. I think that he's really trying to do the right things and play the right way and, and uh, hopefully have a, a great uh, finish to the season. The former Hawaii Rainbow Warrior is Isaac Fleming, now in his second year with East Carolina. Let's take an up close and personal look. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile, brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile. Brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. Our Pirate Profile this week is with Isaac Fleming, so close to 1,000 points. What's that going to mean to you? Uh, really a lot, just accomplishing that at, uh, at a Division I uh, high level. and uh, Really just, just having one of those milestones in my career. You have the only two triple doubles in East Carolina Pirate basketball history. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, but at the end of the day, no championships, no rings, none of that means anything. So we're just looking to try to ring chase this year. 
during those two games when you got the triple double, were guys coming up to you saying, "Hey, you need another rebound, or you need another assist, or you need some more points"? Were you keeping up with it, or yeah. it just come natural? It really is natural. I didn't even know. If every time uh, when I found out, I found out after the game. So like during the game, I just be so locked in. I don't really think about that. How does Isaac Fleming go from Hawaii yeah. to Greenville, North Carolina? Uh, our coach that got fired was uh, coached by Michael Perry, Coach Perry. So it was really like just a connection thing. You had some struggles early on shooting the basketball from the three-point line. What is it like to, to get that monkey off your back? I had an old coach tell me, just keep shooting because they're going to fall. Does Coach Dooley tell you that? Yeah, he tells me that uh, all the time. He, em he emphasizes it a lot. Uh, they had they showed that they haven't given up on me, and uh, that really just helped me just to keep going. Okay, that's our Pirate Profile this week, Isaac Fleming. Today we're going to start with what I call ball confidence, ball handling drills. As we know, most coaches don't want players to catch or throw the ball with one hand, but these drills we'll start off with, we're using one hand, is all about ball confidence, giving you confidence handling the ball, dribbling the ball, and then making moves with the ball. And for smaller kids, you want to, every catch we make is two hands so you can control the ball. But as you get better with these ball handling drills, move to one hand, they're good warm-ups, and then when you play in the game, you never have to think about your next dribble. Okay, we'll start, we'll start with your partner. You're gonna mirror hands. So whatever ball is, if the ball is in my right hand, it's in the, my partner's catching it with their left hand. So let's mirror, let's go shoulder to shoulder, step with every pass. Let's go, snap them, snap the passes. Okay, the point of emphasis is for players to learn to always catch, Control it, step with every pass. Okay, switch hands, switch hands, let's go. And you get your partner, you go quicker to challenge each other as you get better at it, okay? Now we start to drop like a playing position and we go one catch, one dribble, let's go. Catch, one dribble, go, catch, one dribble. Eyes stay up, eyes stay up. Control the ball, don't smack it down, always catch the ball. Two dribbles, let's go, good, let's go, two dribbles, hard dribble. Good, catch it, catch it, that's okay. That's part of the process. That's definitely part of the process. Switch hands, go, go to catch, 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 let's go. Part of the process is initially, players are gonna fumble the ball. And that's the part about, you got to make mistakes to get better. Learning is effortful. If you don't make mistakes, you don't learn. Good, now hold your ball, hold the ball. Now we're gonna challenge them. As you go along, the players get better. You challenge them to put combinations together. So this is what we're doing. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna catch, one dribble between the legs. Next catch, catch, one dribble behind the back. Next catch, one dribble, crossover. So we're going combination, ready, let's go. Go, go, let's go, let's go. Good, good, you guys call out, call out the next move to your partner. Good, call out the next move. Good, 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 good. Good, now hold it, hold the ball. Who wants to, you and I are close to the same height, Addison, as you go across me with John, okay? Now as you get better, you start to play games with each other. So we're gonna start further apart, okay? Mirror my, mirror my hand, okay? When I, what I do, you do. Ready, let's go. Snap it to me, come on, throw it up to my shoulder. Throw it to your target, good. Walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in. Come on, throw it up here, you gotta keep it up, AD. Keep the ball up, keep it up, come on. Keep it up, keep, keep the ball up. Keep it up, keep it up, come on. Come on, come on, come on, back up, back up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Back up, let's go, come on, come on. Come on, come to, come to me, come to me. Now back up, good, good, good. Dribble, dribble, uh, go, go. Uh, come on, come to me, good, good. Switch in, let's go. Dribble, dribble, uh, let's go. Good, come on, throw it up. Good, good, switch, good, good. Good, give me the second ball, let's go. Second ball, opposite hand, go. Go, 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 come on, come on, there, yeah, come on. Good job, good job. Make the drills fun, exciting, and you'll get better. Let's go, good job. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, boat, right. RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm?
Good morning, Oracle Susanna. Guys, what are you doing here? You said that we could watch the game on your crystal ball. No. We brought the light. Okay, come in. Oh, wow. I wonder how it works. No, 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 no. Blindfold is for me. Here goes nothing! Mom, you're going to break it. Do we lose? Here's to the friends you can always count on. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. When it's too cold for camping, we go camping. When it's too hot to work, we work. Too wet to keep going? Nah. This is the Gator XUV835 with game-changing heat and air and three wide seating. It's never too anything for anything. Nothing runs like a deer. Reliable equipment and dependable service. That's quality. Stop by a location near you or request a quote at qualityequip.com. There's a lot to do out there. You can either talk about it, or you can do something about it. At ECU, we choose to do things. And we can help you do just about anything. Come here to keep hometowns thriving, hearts beating, or make waves across the world. Wherever you're headed, this ship can get you there. With 30,000 of us doing so much, you won't find anyone sitting around. You ready? Welcome back to the show. The Pirates hit the road this week. It's going to be a lot of travel, two games, five days. East Carolina will play on a Thursday night at Memphis against the Tigers and then on down to Orlando on Sunday to take on the UCF Knights. And let's talk about Memphis first. They're really excited about their program because Penny Hardaway is back. Well, they've got, obviously, he's a legend in Memphis and it's brought a lot of attention and a lot of publicity back to the program. It's really jump-started their recruiting. You know, they signed the number one high school player in the country. Uh, have a top five recruiting class, and I think there's a lot of excitement about the Tigers again. Yeah, no doubt about that. And then the Pirates will head on down to Orlando and take on UCF. Now, UCF has been picked to win the league this year, and it starts with B.J. Taylor. He's the preseason player of the year, and then they've got the big fella in the middle, don't they? Well, I, I think they're very experienced. They've got a very senior-laden team, uh, guys that took their knocks as freshmen that have grown up, and uh, Johnny's done a good job developing those guys, and, and they've added some pieces also. How about a guy seven foot six inches tall, Joe? What kind of challenges does he present? Well, we scrimmaged him uh, twice when I was at Florida Gulf Coast, and it's it's amusing to watch the jump circle and watch how big he is compared to everybody else. And he presents a lot of unique problems just because you can't simulate that and you don't see it. And we're talking about Taco Fall. Thanks a lot, Joe, for the visit. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Jeff. That is the head coach of the Pirates, Joe Dooley. And join us again next week for another edition of Pirate Basketball. Pirate fans, you're the best. The Joe Dooley Show has been presented by Suddenlink, now offering internet speeds up to one gig. The Joe Dooley Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.